Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Joy Broadcasting Live from Longboat. Give you a little bit of a panoramic view. I have my mic on, but the wind when I point the camera towards the sun is a little loud. So I'll be focusing back and forth. So what I wanted to discuss um, today on this podcast is about cleaning house. And I don't mean cleaning the home that you live in. I mean cleaning your house and getting rid of any negative energy and people that bring you down. And I wanted to focus entirely on people that have maybe been in your life for a long time. So maybe you have 10, 20, 30, 40 year old friendships. And everybody needs to grow at some point in the same way. And people, everybody is different, right? Everybody isn't on your path, the same path. But when people are stagnant and people have been in your life since childhood, you can't expect those people to be the same people that they are today, especially if you've known them 30, 40, 20 years. Everybody changes, and unfortunately, everyone doesn't change for the good. People don't change sometimes in a good way, and maybe life breaks them down, maybe they've had issues, maybe they've had financial problems, maybe they've had illnesses, Whatever they've had, they've become a different person. They're still not the same person that you knew as a child or that you knew in your 20s, 30s, 40s, right? They're different. And since they're a different person and they're not the same, they're really a stranger. And there's no reason at all why you should keep them in your life just because they always were, right? You need to stop hanging on to people, places, and things that have long since let go of you. And you know when people and situations have, they're detrimental to what you're trying to do. There's always a negative comment, connotation, whatever it may be, right? It's not working. So why in God's name would you ever hang on to those people? Just because you've known someone, it seems like forever doesn't mean they need to stay in your life, especially if they're toxic. You need to get rid of that and you need to move on. There's so many people that still put up with stuff from people that they've known for a long time. Just because they've known them for a long time doesn't mean that those people have your back. There's people that you could meet tomorrow and form a friendship that have better intentions than people that you've known for a long time. And I've said this statement so many times, it's like taking the trash out. And it's such a relief to not deal with the stress. And if somebody really doesn't have your good intentions or their, you know, their intentions are not good, why would you ever let them in your life? Why would you ever let them have access to you? And that's what I did. I cleaned house. I got rid of longtime friendships. 20 year friendships, 30 year friendships, gone. They were not working. Those people never evolved. And those people looked at me as evolving and were jealous and catty and were doing everything and anything to derail me. And they still are, actually. So they're the hater club. I'm sure everybody has a hater club. I never knew I had a hater club until I let go of people. Isn't that interesting? So what I'm working on is trying to filter through a better judge of character with people. And I don't necessarily think it's that, but I think it was what I talked about previously, about just because somebody's been in your corner or in your world forever, you just let them be and keep them there. Well, that is absolutely the wrong thing to do. Because once you let go of those people, the mask falls off further, right? The mask has already fallen off because you know they're not the same person that they were years ago. 
And just because they have had stuff happen, we all have stuff happen. And that doesn't change who we are. And if someone says to you, oh, I've become stronger, no, you become evil. Stronger is a different word. Being evil, trying to sabotage someone, doing things behind their back, connecting with people that they no longer talk to, and trying to undermine them constantly is a sickness. Those people are ill. And once you clean house, you'll see what happens. If people just go away willingly, that's wonderful. If people don't and they become vindictive because they have no life, that's a th another thing entirely. Because I don't care what happens in your life, what tragedies you have, what happens that's not good, there is no reason to break down other people. You're a bad seed, right? You're evil. There's good and evil. And all of that will be revealed. And I'm so excited about my book because my book is about a lot of this. And it's about certain people and, and situations. And it is going to be wonderful when it's released, right? Because people think that there's no retribution and there's karma, baby, and it's coming, right? And it's going to be wonderful. And the book is amazing. And it's also all about spirituality and how I've evolved and evolved also in spite of all the turmoil and all the negativity and all the nonsense that I had to live with. Um, so it's wonderful, actually. And it's also very self-healing, so I don't know if anybody writes out there, but when you do write, it's a form of self-care, too. Um, so definitely start journaling. It definitely helped me, and that's kind of how this book evolved, too. Um, and it's a real-life story with real-life people and real-life evil people. Um, so it's awesome. But anyway, to, to get back to no matter what has happened in someone li someone's life, it should not change the core of who you are. It should never change who you are. If you're a good person and you have good intentions, then regardless of what happens to you, you can still be kind. But there are people out there that are not, and the world has turned them. And those are the people that you need to steer clear of. Thank you so much for tuning in and for stopping by tonight. And make it a wonderful day. Please, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Please check out my links in the bio. I have my stores are wonderful, Etsy store, uh, my Shopify, I have beautiful Flora and Sea inspired products. I am going in retail stores shortly. I am so excited. That is going to be the bomb. That's great. And the other thing is you need to put in the work. This all didn't come overnight for me. Um, I started on this crusade about eight years ago, nine years ago. So it's not like things just kind of happened and plopped into place at all. I put a lot of time and effort and faith into everything. So thank you guys. Please hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Namaste.